What can a computer thief see if I password protect my Windows sign in? Well, they can see more than you might think. I'm Leo Notenboom and this is AskLeo.com. Here's today's question. My mid tower computer was recently stolen in a burglary. The Windows system was password protected at startup. What files can be accessed by those trying to enter the system? It would take a computer savvy thief less than five minutes to gain access to everything, all of it, everything that you haven't protected some other way. One of the statements that I make frequently uh, here is that if it's not physically secure, it's not secure. And that applies in situations like this. If you have a computer that could easily be stolen or say a laptop that could easily be left behind as some inordinate number of uh, laptops are left behind at airport checkpoints, then that device isn't secure, right? The, somebody else can physically get their hands on that device. They can do a lot. Now, there are a couple of variations of the kinds of things that they can do. I'll run through a couple of those things, but there are some techniques that you can take beforehand to protect yourself. So one of the things a thief might be able to do is reboot from a password recovery disk. This is actually something that I talk about for folks that have lost the password to a machine. Uh, they've lost the administrator password to a machine. If you take a look at the article, I've lost the password to my Windows administrator account. How do I get it back? you'll see that it walks you through the process of rebooting from a CD that you can download from the internet that then allows you to modify the password or even remove the password and then boot into the machine normally. Now, recent versions of Windows, including Windows 8 and Windows 10 and the UEFI BIOS have made this more difficult, but it is still an option on the table. They could reboot from a Linux Live CD what that is, is a fully functional version of Linux that doesn't require access to the hard drive to run. It just boots from the CD or DVD or USB, and suddenly they have access to everything on your machine. They can read the hard disk. They can see what's on the hard disk. They can see everything that is on the hard disk. This is a very common uh, diagnostic tool for folks like me if a system won't boot to see if the hard disk itself has been damaged and what data can be recovered from the machine. In the case of a theft, it's a tool for a thief to be able to copy the data off of your machine should they be so interested. And finally, they could just remove the hard disk. They could attach it to another system. They could put it in an external enclosure. They have access to your machine. They can take it apart. That means that, yeah, they can do whatever they feel like they want to do with the hard drive itself in order to gain access to the information that's stored thereon. That's why theft is actually a pretty serious issue if the thieves are motivated. Now, I do have to point out that by and large, most thieves, they're not that smart. They're not that motivated. This is not an issue most of the time. What they're interested in is reselling the hardware. They're basically trying to grab the hardware, sell the hardware and move on. Whoever gets the machine might be more motivated, but the thieves usually aren't interested in your data and the person receiving the machine is usually just buying it for the hardware. They don't know what's on it. They'll probably erase it the first thing they get. But we can't guarantee that. We can't. There is no way to know that a thief isn't savvy enough to grab your data, that the person that finally gets the machine isn't savvy enough to get your data. Here's what you need to do. First, secure the machine. Don't let it be stolen in the first place if it, you can. Don't leave it behind at the checkpoint. If you're in a meeting, secure it maybe to a desk. Don't leave it alone when you go out for lunch, those kinds of things. Do whatever is practical for you to actually physically secure the machine. Then encrypt the hard drive. This is what BitLocker is for. This is what uh, VeraCrypt can do. This is what a file vault on a Mac can do. It encrypts your entire hard drive. That means 
without being able to actually log into your machine, nobody can see anything on that hard drive, which is exactly what you're looking for. Now, there is one caveat, and that is simply this. Don't use standby or hibernate if this is your scenario. And I say that because when you use standby, when you use hibernate, you're not really logged out of the system. It's just suspended, as some of the terminology implies. And that means that, in theory, there may be ways for somebody else who has physical access to the machine to still access the information, even if it's encrypted, on a fully encrypted hard drive. So shut your machine down when you're not using it, and you'll be fine. Now, if whole drive encryption is not something you want to approach, it does have its downsides, then the other approach is to make sure that your data is encrypted. Tools like VeraCrypt and BoxCryptor can make this transparent to you. You don't actually change the way you use your data that much. You simply have this software taking care of the encryption for you. The data on the disk is always encrypted. The data that you use is decrypted on the fly only as you use it. So everything that I just said, like I said, applies to not just a desktop machine that's been stolen, but a laptop machine that's been stolen or left behind. You can even claim that much of what I've just discussed applies to your mobile devices, which are lost at an even greater rate. What I do is actually pretty simple. I used to use TrueCrypt when it was still around, and I would use VeraCrypt today without much hesitation. What I've decided to do instead, though, is certainly on all my portable devices, I encrypt the hard drive. I use BitLocker on my Windows laptops. I used FileVault on my Macs. And in fact, I let the Android operating system encrypt the memory card on that device as well. I also use BoxCryptor to encrypt the data that I also store in the cloud, at least the sensitive data that I store there. Between those two techniques, whole disk encryption and BoxCryptor, I feel my data is secure. And that's the kind of a thing that you want to consider if you're at all concerned about your machine being stolen and the data thereon being accessed by somebody that shouldn't. I hope this was helpful. For related links, for updates, for more details, visit askleo.com 22565. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.